third fundamental prohibition in Islamic law is that of Maisir. Maisir in Arabic is a word for gambling and in Urdu we call it Jua. So, jis tarah sood haram hai, jis tarah gharar haram hai, isi tarah Jua bhi Islam ne haram karar diya hai. So, any activity which involves gambling that is considered as prohibited in an Islamic legal framework and of course for Muslims it is absolutely important to stay away from this kind of activities. In this segment we would like to understand what is meant by gambling and what is meant by its prohibition. In its very simplest form, gambling is an activity in which two or more people pool their money and put it on the table somewhere. So, they basically they pool their money in such a way that they agree on a mechanism. It could be tossing of a coin, it could be throwing a dice or it could be outcome of a game as well. So, depending on the outcome of that activity, they then distribute the pooled money in such a way that this is not proportionate to the individual contributions of the contributors. Let me explain in Urdu. اگر دو یا دو سے زیادہ افراد مل کے پیسے کو ایک جگہ اکٹھا کریں تمام کچھ کچھ پیسے ڈال دیں اس کے بعد وہ کوئی ٹاس کریں یا کوئی وہ ڈائی تھرو کریں اس کی آؤٹکم کی بیسز کے اوپر وہ کچھ لوگوں کو ایسی رقم دیں جو کہ انہوں نے جو پول کے اندر ڈالی ہوئی رقم تھی اس سے مختلف ہو تو اس کو ہم کہیں گے گیمبلنگ this is considered as prohibited in Islamic law primarily because this is considered as a threat to the wealth held by the people so anything which would put my money my wealth my assets to something uh, uh, some kind of risk which can be avoided otherwise that would be considered as prohibited and gambling is a very explicit example of that in some ways gambling is actually an extension of gharar if i try to sell something which is in my hand without showing to you that is actually gharar it is called bayul gharar and in this extreme form of gharar actually this is gambling as well so there is a very clear kind of relationship between gharar and gambling extreme form of gharar is actually gambling and this is considered as prohibited in islam now, what is prohibited uh, in the name of gambling? Actually, the loss of one party at the expense of the other party that benefits from this transaction, that is prohibited in the name of gambling. In economic literature, this kind of transactions are known as zero-sum games. آئی ای جب ایک بندے کا فائدہ دوسرے بندے کے نقصان کی صورت میں ہو تو اس کو زیرو سم گیم کہیں گے اس کو اسلامک لیگل کانٹیکس میں ہم گیمبلنگ یا میسر کہیں گے اس کو اسلام نے منع کیا ہے اس کی ایک مثال فائنینشل مارکٹس میں سے میں دینا چاہوں گا 
और वो है ऑप्शन यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ ऑप्शन इन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट ऑप्शन आर एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गैम्बलिंग बिकॉज सम वन हु ट्रेड इन ऑप्शन दे ट्राई टू गेट समथिंग विच मे नॉट बी देयर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस नेचर ऑफ ऑप्शन ट्रेडिंग मैनी ज्यूरिस्ट would deem options as a form of gambling which would be considered as prohibited